Paulette in New York City. Hey, Paulette, what's up? Hi, good afternoon, Tom. I, when you said that leaders are brazen, the brazenness of leaders, yeah. what I found about, for me, the word that I found to describe Donald Trump that I could come to grips with, he's indifferent. Hmm. Yeah. And I think that's because he lacks empathy, and he lacks understanding. So he doesn't have a basis for for, you know, the emotions that would that would cause us to think he's not indifferent. <laughs> yeah. Paulette, well said. Thank you very much. I mean, back years ago, Louise and I took a seminar from Robert McKee uh, called Story. He's got a book by the same name. He's a, he's a guy who teaches actors, screenwriters, uh, novelists how to create stories. And one of the things that McGee pointed out in this seminar was that the opposite of love is not hate. Now think about that for a minute. The opposite of love is not hate. So what is the opposite of love? It's indifference. That's even more brutal. Hate actually sticks you to another person, just like love does. Indifference, no. So if Trump is, as Paulette said, indifferent, if that's really his principal characteristic, then we don't exist to him. Now, think about the consequences of that for a minute. Think about what that means. I mean, we know right now 800,000 civil service employees apparently don't matter to him, don't mean anything to him. He held a, you know, he let the, he let the media into his uh, signing ceremony or whatever it was this morning in the White House. And he made the comment, he, you know, he lied, as, as he always does, and, and said, well, you know, the, the majority of government employees support what I'm doing. Well, A, there's no way to know that that's true or not. But odds are the majority of government employees don't think that it's a good idea that they not get a paycheck so that Trump can, can use that to bludgeon Congress to get his damn wall so that he can say to his voting, his, his base, that he... Yep, I kept my campaign promise. This is, we know, a very high value of Donald Trump's to say anyway, or be able to appear to have kept his campaign promise. Last night he said that Mexico is going to pay through for the wall through the new and improved NAFTA, which is not even, you know, past Congress yet. But that lack of empathy, that, you know, as Paulette correctly po pointed out, I mean, that, that's a mind-boggling point. It's even more destructive than hatred. Now, he certainly has, obviously, a lot of hatred, mostly against people whose skin is darker than, than his. He has a lot of hatred. I mean, you know, go back to the Central Park Five. Go back to the, to the comments he's made over the years repeatedly about the intellect of, of African Americans, about the, the morality of Mexicans, et cetera, et cetera. I mean, you know, this guy harbors racist sentiments you know, right up there with, you know, Bull Connor. But when you add to that this brazenness and this lack of empathy that leads to, to this uh, virtually sociopathic indifference, and Paulette so nailed it with that word, that is, that is the danger to the republic, in my opinion. That, that is, you know, it's, it's Trump's personality disorders that represent the greatest threat to our country right at this moment, and to the world, frankly.